Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Relationship Thursday where we actually finished up a series. I think we finished the series. I've been so busy, but I do think that we finished the series and that I'm doing some bonuses now. But if not, the series is um, boo shopping or bay shopping, um, waiting or preparing for our dream spouse. And so the topic of today is to present or pursue. Which one should the woman do and why? Which one should the man do and why? Okay, so my name is Sheila Rollins and I am the founder of Sheila Ministries Entertainment and Associates Inc., and on this year too, we are Overcomers Anonymous, where we support anyone designed to overcome anything. We do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our forgiveness, our wholeness, our cleanliness, our completeness, those things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Jesus Christ being a higher power. However, in order for us to take full advantage of all he's offered, we must be obedient to his word. And I encourage the King James Version because it's what he encouraged me. The Ten Commandments, including the Fourth Commandment, where he admonishes us to keep the seventh day Sabbath. These things are binding on us for eternal life. The arrow next to the title is the description. This information will be found there. Also, there would be the topic scripture for the video today. And also, my contact information, if you're interested in um, purchasing the fundraiser, fundraisers, which support the nonprofit and the YouTubes, um, the vegan meat alternatives inside, non-dairy ice cream, and um, other desserts. And so, okay, so if you haven't checked out the other YouTube, it's the Pursuit to Christ. P check out the playlist on both YouTubes. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning the visitor, and also uh, for those that are coming by for the first time, Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, please remember to subscribe too, all right? Subscribing, um, you know, it helps the YouTube to grow, you know, and it helps get the information out there. And um, like too, because that helps me um, know what you like, keep putting out more great content. And... Um, you know, and it helps the YouTube to grow. So, okay, to pursue or to present. I try to look it up. I forgot to look up pursue, but I try to look up both of them. And basically, the Oxford Dictionary says that the word present has two meanings. Um, the one that actually sounds different is present, like to give somebody a gift or something. And then the other one is to present, like, how you show up in the world, okay? Um, but I think it the, the Oxford Dictionary said, like, like, to be present or how you, how you, yeah, like how you show up in a particular situation, okay, or how you show up to the world. And basically, to pursue means to, like, go after, okay? To, um, yeah, yeah, like, like to go after, to, um, to go after, I'm trying to think of what else you can say about pursue, um, to take an interest and go after it. Okay, that's enough. So, okay, so basically to present, it's like Steve Harvey says that when a woman is single, but not just when a woman is single, but a woman, period, at any time, married or single, um, single women should never let her guard down. So if she's like waiting on her mate, like I am, that she should always present herself in a positive light, meaning that. She should look well, smell well, um, you know, be, I guess, like of a cheery heart, you know, but she should never have a down day. In other words, never come out of the house 
and don't look well. You know, um, always when you come out of the house, make sure that you're clean, clothes ironed, nice, nicely put together, like not nothing bagging on you or anything like that. It's tasteful. You know, your 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 outfit is tasteful. It looks well on you. Your hair looks decent. Your skin looks glowing. And, you know, that kind of thing, because the first way to attract a man, a man first goes on what he sees. He's attracted first in what he sees. And so if you have an off day, you know, to where you decided the day that you didn't want to do your hair, you didn't want to brush your teeth, okay, you didn't want to bathe or whatever, and he shows up, it may not be a good encounter. However, a woman, a woman should always present herself well to look nice, smell nice, you know, have a nice pleasing attitude, you know. And so there are situations where I've seen like on YouTube where uh, a woman actually pursued a man and you know, a man had been secretly asking God for a woman to pursue him. And God granted him that. But the ba things that I'm talking about are whether we should present as women or pursue, pursue um, you know, as men or women, um, is generally speaking, you know, um, because there are times where I guess that a woman should pursue. And as well as present, okay? And a man should present like he should look well too. He should look good, smell good, be of a positive mind, you know, as well. But I think that on average that pursuing is for a man. And the Bible says that a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. So when I think of finding a wife, I think of somebody that is in with God, somebody that has sins forgiven, in, has a high standard. You know, Jesus is first their 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 spouse. I'm talking about a woman now. Um you know, and that I'm not saying that she's perfect or anything like that, but she has a standard, a high standard, and she's presented it to God to help her to keep it, you know. And so um, when a man pursues her or goes after her and finds her, um, it says basically that he likes her, he wants her, you know, and is willing, and I say willing to be with her because just because you pursue a person, it doesn't mean that you're going to end up together. You know what I'm saying? You might be the kind of person that's bashful as a man and kind of afraid of the chase. And so God may have you um, pursue women in order to help you to be bold to be courageous and to be comfortable, become comfortable with pursuing. Okay. Who knows? But, um, if a woman pursues a man, now this is my, me just sharing that you may not, you may not ever know. It'll be hard to know if he likes you, if he wants you, if he, potentially wants to be with you because you pursued him. Because to me, it's like you're taking something away from a man that is naturally his. A man likes to pursue. You know, a man is kind of like a, a warrior or, or that kind of thing, you know. Um, and so I have noticed like on like YouTubes, I've watched some different YouTubes where um, women have pursued men. And then afterwards, it caused them to like 
shaking their boots. In other words, like, oh my God, oh my God, is he going to contact me back? Is he going to call me? You know, that kind of thing. Where when a man pursues you, and I think it's because you don't know how he's going to um, accept, accept you. And it kind of reminds me of, you remember the story of the Bible of um, Queen Esther. And, you know, she was not supposed to, the rules were, she only went before the king when the king called her. But if the king didn't call her and she came, she could actually be, be killed. Now, figurative speaking, though, like in today, you know, that killed in the sense where your feelings could be hurt if you go after a man that is really not interested in you, you know, and you go after him, you know, it can leave you feeling like, oh, dang, I'm nothing and I'm nobody. Oh, my God, he didn't want me. So if he didn't want me, then nobody wants me. Whereas if a woman will wait for the man on the man to pursue. I mean, yes, you could actually say, I don't want him. You know what I mean? But a man's going to be a man. He may pursue him to yell and you can say, I'm not interested. I don't want it, you know, or whatever. But still, I just kind of like the whole idea of like knowing that a man loves me and that he wants me and that kind of thing. I'm, you know, initially not love, but I'm just saying that that I'm his choice instead of me not just presenting myself, but also going after him, you know, um, that you may get, you may get rejected, you know, I mean, who knows, had, had Queen Esther, um, had he not, the king not held out his scepter to her, she would have been killed because the rules were, if he didn't hold it out, then she's in big trouble. Her life was at stake, okay? However, God gave her the boldness that she needed. And as a result, you know, um, how things, you know, the Lord blessed her to where um, she became like a savior to her, the whole Israelite nation at that time. Okay. And so basically to pursue or to present. Okay. Tell me which one do you think should a woman do? Should she just present herself? You know what I mean? Her upkeep, you know, and how she presented to the world, herself to the world. And then like, maybe like if she meets a man, her husband, you know what I mean? That it's not, I don't think it's just on what she looks like, but I think that it's also God letting a man know, like, this is your wife. And a lot of men have said, you know, as soon as they saw a woman, they knew right away, that's my wife right there. Okay. Um, you know, should a man just pursue and not present? When I say present, I mean care about like his his outward appearance. You know, should he just like look like anything, smell like anything, and then think that he's going to get a woman? I think that both has to do, both present and pursue in some kind of way. Um, well, both have to present, but the man... It's best for the man to do the pursuing because in the man doing the pursuing somewhere along in the relationship, if you know, you, you get together, you are constantly always being the one pursuing him, making dates, you know what I mean? Um, calling him in the middle of the day, you know, doing different things instead of him calling you and making dates with you and making you feel like a queen, like a somebody special and like not just his wife and his daughter, but, you know, the love of his life, you know. So 
you answered a question about pursuing and pr pursuing or presenting in the comment section. Should both do it? So just one do it? You know, um, should a man mainly pursue? Should a woman mainly pursue? You know, but I think that they should both present, but that the men, the men should pursue. Um, I love you. Basically, this is all I have for you. Um, yeah, check out the other YouTube, um, the playlist, subscribe, give me some thumbs up. I love you. See you in the next YouTube. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.